Hi everyone, this is Jeff Maricola, fantasy artist and illustrator. In this video, I am working on a simple little sketch that I'm actually going to turn into an oil painting eventually, but for now it's just going to remain a ink drawing. And this is just of some kind of a, like a demon imp type character. Something fun, something simple, because I'm still testing out my Kuretake brush pen. You may have seen, if you're a YouTube subscriber of mine, you may have seen from a previous video that I was testing out my Kuretake brush pen, and I'm still doing that with this drawing. Like I said, because this is a uh, simple drawing and I'm just testing out the brush pen, you can see that I did a real light, fast sketch with a brown colored pencil on, on my paper. Nothing detailed at all, just kind of general shapes and whatnot. And then I'm just going in and doing the more detailed drawing with the brush pen itself, with the ink itself. I'm not too afraid of messing up or screwing up because, you know, the drawing doesn't have to be perfect. It's not a big deal. But I'm still a little bit more methodical about the way I'm approaching the drawing. That's why you can see me doing these kind of almost like quick stabbing motions where I just, or where I come in and I just, I'll do a line and then I'll, I'll back away and look at the whole drawing and then I'll come in and I'll draw another line and then back away. So it's because I'm sitting there thinking about what I want to do. Where do I want to put those black lines? Because it's ink, it's permanent, you know. Once you put it down, it's down. I mean, there are ways you can clean it up and whatnot, but that's not something for this video right now. All right, so real quick, I want to tell you two things. One, I've got a Kickstarter going on right now. It's a crowdfunding campaign to raise money for the most comprehensive oil painting video that I will ever create. If you're a YouTube subscriber of mine, then you, you know that I've uploaded lots of videos. I've uploaded acrylic painting and drawing and inking and oil painting videos like my, like my Dragon Dive or my Mars Attacks video that you might have seen on my channel. Well, now I want to create a super, super detailed and comprehensive video that's going to be over six hours long, all about my oil painting process. I will certainly walk you through the entire creation of one of my detailed oil paintings, and then I'm going to pack that video with all kinds of other information, tips and tricks and techniques, that, everything that pertains to oil painting, and it's going to answer all your questions uh, about that. So right now, I have a Kickstarter crowdfunding campaign going on to raise money for that, to make that happen. And I'm hoping that my YouTube subscribers will get out there and help support me. I've uploaded a lot of free videos to my YouTube channel, but, but this, this real extensive one can't be free, unfortunately. Uh, but I do need to raise money in order to make it happen and to, to find the time to make it happen. But the benefits of pre-ordering that video right now means that you can get this oil painting video in DVD or digital download format for only $35. Plus, you'll also get a uh, mini art portfolio with six signed art prints by me. And then if the crowdfunding campaign goes beyond its funding limit and goes into the stretch goals, then backers are going to start getting extra stuff like an exclusive print or, or a bonus DVD or video content. So it's pretty cool. All this stuff for just 35 bucks is going to be phenomenal. Uh, if you can get out there, go to kickstarter.fantasyartworkshop.com. Please take a look at my Kickstarter campaign. It ends on December 4th, 2016. So you got to act fast. Right now, it is not 100% funded. It's getting close. It's probably at about 72% funded. Uh, so I really need my YouTube subscribers to get out there and help push that thing over the goal. All right. So the next thing is this coming Sunday, November 20th, 2016 at 12 15 p.m central standard time i am going to be doing a live chat at kickstarter.com so that will also take place on my kickstarter page so you can just go to kickstarter.fantasyartworkshop.com uh, at sunday november 20th at 12 15 p.m central standard time and i will be doing a live chat and my wife will probably be joining me for that as well. My wife is the videographer for almost all of my videos on my YouTube channel. So you guys have probably heard her voice or maybe have seen her in some videos in the past. I'll be able to answer all your questions that you might have about art, the art business, uh, art techniques. I don't care what it is. Talk to me about drawing, inking, painting, whatever you want. Ask me about portfolio stuff. Ask me about, you know, the illustration business. I can talk to you about it all. All right. So that, that's your time to kind of ask me those, those questions. 
So pretty cool opportunity for, for people to reach out to me and, and talk directly to me if you'd like. I purposely made that at 12.15 p.m. Central Standard Time to make it easy for all my fans over, overseas, like in the United Kingdom and Europe, so that uh, it wasn't too late or in the middle of the night. 12.15, my time puts it at about 8.15 in the evening in the UK. All my friends and fans across the pond, you guys can join me for the live chat now, uh, right before you go to sleep. So you can let me bore you and talk you to sleep. <laughs> so, so, and again, Sylvia will be in this live chat. You can always ask her questions as well. Uh, we can talk about the equipment that we use to do the filming of our videos. I know that there are a lot of people that are interested in that, a lot of artists, because they want to film their own process. So if you've got questions about that, both Sylvia and myself, we can answer those questions. All right, so let's get back to this ink drawing that I'm working on here. As you sit here watching me work on this drawing, just know that even though I've been doing fantasy art for the past 23 years, I never stop experimenting. In fact, I only just started doing serious brush and ink drawings about three or four years ago. I tried brush and ink drawing just for fun early in my career, and wow, I was horrible at it. I really was. Uh, I had absolutely no control at all. I, it was very discouraging. Thankfully, the majority of my freelance work I was getting was for fully painted art. So I set the inks aside. I figured maybe I'll get back to it someday. And so about three or four years ago, I gave it another try. All of a sudden I had control. I guess all those years of working on paintings really paid off. Now I really, really enjoy doing brush and ink drawings. Uh, I still need to improve, but uh, you know, we artists always need to improve. And so now that I've started using brush pens, uh, which has taken my black and white work to a whole new level, I think, well, they've become another tool in my toolbox. When I sit down someday to do very serious and planned out ink drawings and not just these sketches, I can see myself using a combination of brush pens and standard brushes dipped in ink and, and even pen nibs dipped in ink. So all those tools, they have their pluses and their minuses. I'll definitely be using all of those things in, in one drawing at some point. The moral of the, my message about me getting back to ink drawing is to never give up. I know, it seems so simple, right? If you purchase a tool, such as a brush pen, hoping that it will be all the answer to your struggles, but then you find out it's too difficult to control and work with, set it aside. Move on to something else. You'll find something that works for you. Then, one day, give that brush pen a try again. You might find it becomes easier to work with all of a sudden, like it did for me. For me, it was because all of those years of painting taught me uh, control. I learned how to control the paint. I learned how to control my brush and how to hold the brush properly and how to have a nice feather touch when I needed it and how to achieve certain lines and things like this with my paints. Uh, and then all of a sudden, one day, that just translated over into my brush and ink drawings. So, isn't that cool? Speaking of combining tools, in order to make the background a more solid black, I don't use the brush pen this time, mainly because it would take too long to cover all that area with the brush pen. So I reach for a regular filbert brush and my Koinor Black India ink. I just put that in like a little bottle cap that I've got laying around. So I was concerned that the Koinor ink wouldn't match the ink in my Kurataki brush pen, but actually they turned out to be rather similar. So both inks lean toward the blue end of the spectrum. That was a happy little surprise. Once in a while, you'll get a black ink that pushes more warm or red, and you make the mistake of combining another black ink that is more blue. So then you end up with, you know, two different kinds of black inks in your drawing, and it, it doesn't look too good. You can see as I brush in the background that I'm leaving a few areas where the paper shows through. This is not me being sloppy, I promise. This is done on purpose to make for a more interesting background. I, I like to have variation in my backgrounds. I even like those areas where the ink overlaps itself and gets darker at those intersections. If I wanted a completely solid background, uh, that would be easy enough to achieve. I could wait for this to dry and just do one or two more coats of ink over the whole thing, or I could fix it in post-production in the computer. But that would be boring. So give yourself a challenge when you work on your next piece. You know, Try to constrain yourself a bit. Stop short of rendering every inch of your drawing to a finely finished state. So make sure that you leave some areas of your drawing unfinished to add variety. So, like I said earlier, this sketch will eventually become an oil painting. And you can purchase this one-of-a-kind oil painting in my Kickstarter campaign if you like. 
All right, so to all my YouTube subscribers and anybody else viewing this video, please get out there and support my oil painting Kickstarter. And if you have no interest whatsoever in learning how to oil paint from me, then maybe you know someone that does. Maybe a family member or a friend. If so, either share a link to my Kickstarter campaign with them, or better yet, support my campaign and give the oil painting DVD or digital download as a gift. That way you become a hero in their eyes and to me too. Remember, head over to kickstarter.fantasyartworkshop.com, okay? Also, don't forget about my live chat this coming Sunday, November 20th, 2016 at 1215 Central Standard Time, okay? That's also taking place on the Kickstarter page. And if you can't make that live chat, I will be doing another one on December 4th at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, also on my Kickstarter page. As usual, thank you for watching. Until next time, go paint, go draw, Go be creative. Take care of yourself. Bye.